Well, hello. These are the announcements for October 18th, 2020. That is the 20th Sunday after Pentecost. It is nice to have this opportunity to catch you up and to, uh, to share some of the parts of our communal life together. We are continuing to worship outdoors. Uh, as I'm doing this, Sunday is several days away, but the, uh, the weatherman says that we are going to be doing Sunday services in freezing rain and snow. If you want to be part of that, if you want to watch me shake and shiver, and if you want to watch a couple of our 10th graders get confirmed, we would love to have you bundle up and come and sit in the snow with us. Remember, we do need you to register in advance in case we need to do contract tracing uh, and that uh, you need to bring your own lawn chair and you need to wear a mask. But uh, there'll, there'll be a link uh, uh, below here. There's always uh, a registration uh, button up on top, the top right corner of the website. Uh, and we would love to see you in worship. At this moment, we are planning to resume indoor worship on November 8th. We are hoping that the pandemic and the uh, county and state officials will all line up to help us make that happen. Uh, we have to figure out exactly the numbers. We're still uh, trying to figure out uh, between our insurance company and the state and the county what kind of numbers we can have for each service. We'll let you know that soon. But this will absolutely be uh, pre-registration required. We won't be able to let people in because the, the building will have a, a fixed capacity. Uh, so uh, my guess is that there will be four or five short services on a Sunday um, and that we'll, uh, we'll figure out uh, between now and then how exactly that works. But, but stay tuned for that and be in prayer about that. It would be wonderful uh, to be able to, uh, to take that next step uh, toward normalcy. In the meantime, uh, we'll continue to pray and to grow and to learn and to study and to help and to serve uh, because the church has never, ever closed. We just were dispersed for a while. But now, perhaps, uh, is time for us to come back together again, and that would be lovely. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the, the prayer uh, list. If you'd be so kind, uh, there's always, you can always click on the upper left corner of the, of the website, and you can get the current prayer list. Um, but let me just give you some highlights uh, so that you can be uh, thinking and praying of these folks. Uh, there's three families in the initial stages of grief that we are praying for. Uh, you know that, that Freddie, the owner of uh, Club Orlo, passed away. Uh, may God bless his memory in our midst and, and may God bless his family and his friends. So we'll be praying for them. Uh, we're also praying for John Cahan's family and Ellie Meverden's family um, uh, still for uh, this, this coming time. And so I commend them all to you. Um, Tom S. is recovering from surgery. Uh, had surgery down in Madison and we, uh, we hope uh, and pray that, that God's will is done gently in his life and we commend him to God. Uh, the rest of the names you have seen, they are uh, people for whom we've been praying for a while now and I commend them all to you. The last thing that we really uh, need to talk about today is, as I said before, we're doing confirmations on each of these Sunday morning services. We're doing one, one confirmation uh, kid, one uh, rite of affirmation of baptism at the 9 and the 10 o'clock services each and every Sunday. So if you come to church, you're going to be part of confirmation and um, you will be welcome indeed. It's a, it's a good thing. It's not, it's not the, the wonderful spectacle that we have most years on Reformation. Sunday, but to have an entire month where we are all listening to faith statements and thinking about what it is we believe and how we intend to live, that's a holy thing. That's a good thing. So for those of you who are unable to come, I thought I would read you the faith statements uh, for the uh, young men who are getting confirmed this coming Sunday, the 18th. This is Tyler's faith statement. Uh, Tyler is uh, a member of peace. I believe in God, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe that God is the light in the darkness and that God guides me to do good in the world. I believe that the Bible contains the story of Jesus' life. I believe that Jesus Christ came to forgive our sins and help us live our best and happiest lives. I believe that God wants us to be the best people we can be, even when going through tough times. I believe that God always forgives and is always there to guide me through my life, even when I'm feeling off. 
I feel that praying is the way I become closest to God because I am directly talking to him in a conversation. I believe in the promises of Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I will go to church from now on whenever I can continue my relationship with God. So uh, that, is, uh, that is Tyler's faith statement. JP uh, is a uh, young member of Nelsonville, and this is his faith statement. When I was baptized, I became a member of the Christian family. Today, I'm going to affirm that baptism. Faith in God is confusing and not easy to understand. I'm sure as I grow older, I will continue to grow stronger in my faith by going to church and learning more about how the Bible relates to me. I do believe that Jesus loves me and he died for me. Because he died for me, my sins will be forgiven through prayer. When I take communion, I believe it's the body and blood of Christ. And in my life, whether things are good or bad, I believe that God is there with me. I believe that being a Christian is not just saying it, but showing it by my actions, being a good person, doing good works in my life, being kind and helpful to others. I was able to see how much Lutheran World Relief helps people with all the quilts and kits that are sent out when I volunteered to help deliver them. I know there will be many opportunities for me to help others as I grow in my Christian life. And so I hope that you'll join me in praying for Tyler and JP as they make these promises and as they begin their adult walk and their confirmed membership in our midst. In the meantime, may you be well. May you be blessed. I am so grateful for our fellowship and our joint work in this place. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>